will save you so much time. This is a little bit chaotic. Take a screenshot of this. This is fun. I'll show you what my settings are for color grading. What's up, welcome back to my channel. So this is literally one of my most requested videos ever and that is how I edit my videos like updated for this year. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I spent like literally two years editing on iMovie and I recently upgraded to Final Cut Pro and now since it's spring break, I have the time to make a full tutorial. I'm gonna show you like exactly all the steps that I use to edit and I am like not a professional at this. So basically how I learned to do what I'm gonna tell you is I watched a bunch, not, I'm gonna say a bunch, but it really wasn't a bunch. I watched two tutorials. So I would actually recommend watching multiple videos like this to really get a full feel of Final Cut Pro. So the two that I watched were Katherine Manning's video, I'll link all these below, and then Hannah Lisa's video too. They're both super helpful. So I totally suggest watching their videos as well. Also, if you didn't know, Final Cut Pro is on just the MacBook. Basically, to get Final Cut Pro, they have a 90-day free trial where you can like download it for Okay, I don't know I'm like explaining the definition of free trial, but you have a 90 day free trial And then after the 90 days is up you can choose to purchase it for $300 So obviously compared to iMovie it's $300 versus zero dollars So you do have to pay for it, but it's honestly it's an investment like if you're dedicated to YouTube or just video editing I think it's worth it because there's so much more you can do with it So I'm first gonna quickly go over like Final Cut Pro versus iMovie because most people who are getting Final Cut Pro Choose to upgrade from iMovie. The main thing with Final Cut Pro that I like versus iMovie is you can add multiple layers With iMovie you can only do this but then with Final Cut Pro you can do this and add just a ton of layers you're not limited and you can also you do a really good color grading with Final Cut Pro which is not my specialty at all but if you want to explore that you can do that also with Final Cut Pro on the timeline you can like zoom in super close on the frame by frame it's just so much easier and a lot more detailed and then another thing I like about Final Cut Pro too is you can edit on a hard drive so this is just the hard drive I have I don't know I got it at the Apple store and basically you just plug the hard drive in and then you edit your video while this thing's still plugged in and then once you're done editing the video you just pull out the hard drive and then all of the editing like files are saved onto the hard drive and it doesn't take up any space on your computer which is so nice because like video files are a lot <laughs> and also Final Cut Pro although there are some glitches it glitches way less than iMovie because I had instances where iMovie would just decide to delete a bunch of random stuff and that is so annoying so and there are also just more video effects more flexibility let's just get started so the first thing you want to do is obviously open a new project so you just have Final Cut Pro open and you just click file new where is that and you can create a new project, event, or library. So the library is like a folder, the event is a subfolder, and then the project is like the project. <laughs> so I'm just gonna create a new project and then you can name it whatever you want. So we're just gonna not name it anything. <laughs> and then I don't know what any of these like button things mean, but whatever. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna drag this random clip in here. Okay, so the first thing that I do is the rough cut, which is basically just cutting out all of the awkward parts and just making the video flow before I put in all like the creative effects. So basically I'll have a lot of footage in the timeline right here and then I'll go through it. Pretend my hands the trackpad by like doing this you can zoom in or zoom out on the timeline and increase the number of frames that you see in the timeline and then also like I have these two buttons right here I don't know what they mean but I have those two why is the camera being weird okay but I have those two highlighted right here in purple I don't know what that does honestly to split the clip you just hit command B and it does that and then you just click on the clip you don't want and hit delete. If you just hit B then you'll have this like, I don't know what this tool is called, but this tool will pop up and then you can just do this. And then to get out of that you just click on this right here and choose the select button. Actually I think that's like called the blade tool. Um, I did not know that until just now. So that's like the main thing that I do during the rough cut. There are also like shortcuts too on the touch bar. If you have a touch bar, my touch bar is broken so I can't 
can't really show you that because I don't really know how that works. <laughs> but anyway, after I've like gone through and cut out all the pieces that I want to, then I can do all of like the creative effects, which I will show you as we get into the lengthy part of the video. <laughs> so now for cropping. There are two ways you can do this. So basically just click on the clip you want to crop and then you click on this tool thing right here and click the drop down arrow and click transform and you click the slidey thing in the corner and just pull it in or pull it out or pull it upside down however you want to. Or you can go back to here and click on crop and click crop right here and pull it inward. And then there's also the Ken Burns option as well. And now for adding layers, which is just layers. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Basically, you just drag in like pictures or whatever you want to on top of the video. Like so, I just drag these random things onto here. It's really simple. And then if you want to add two layers or three or four, you just drag another one on top. If you want to add a third layer, you can also drag that on top as well. And then you probably want to move the layers around so this picture doesn't look so weird. So you click on the layer you want to adjust and then click this thing right here. Again, Again and click on transform and you can just kind of move it around however you want to it's really nice and then just hit done and then I forgot to mention this but to change the speed of the video so like if you want to put it in slow-mo or you want to like do a time-lapse montage thing click on this little clock symbol right here and then choose fast or slow and then for music and sound effects so I get all the music that I use just from the YouTube audio library just go on to the YouTube studio and find the audio library and there's a ton of options there. That's just how I personally do it. But to see the sound effects, just click on this button right here. Also, sorry, my computer fan is so loud. That's a drawback of Final Cut Pro is it makes your computer fan just go wild. But anyway, then you have music and sound effects. So if you download music from the YouTube audio library, it'll show up right here under music and there are all these options. And then you can also just use the default sound effects, which are right here. So these are all automatically loaded. But to add music. I'm just going to drag a random one. You just hold and drag it underneath and there it is. To adjust the sound you can do this or you can adjust the volume right up here through this thing, this slider thing. And then another thing that I like to do is if there's an edit that I want to add, you can click the M button on the keyboard and this like mark will appear. And then if you double click the mark, you can name it something. So say I want to come back and add an edit to this spot later, you can just type in something so like come back and then if you click on the to do thing it'll turn it red so that'll capture your attention and then if you double click it again you can just check completed when it's complete and hit done so that's just a hack that I like to use and now for effects this is fun <laughs> so basically to add an effect you click on these what is this symbol click on this symbol right here and then you'll have all of the effects that appear and basically what you can do, I really like this one, the bad TV. I use this a lot um, because it's fun. You just click it, hold it down, and then drag it onto here. And then you can adjust the effects up at this top thing right here. It just takes a lot of trial and error to get the effect to be how you want it. And then pretend you've made like a bunch of adjustments onto this. So I did this and pretend I really like this. I don't know why I would like this because this is a little bit chaotic, but you can add this as like a customized effect. So you just click on it and click save effects preset. And then you can just name it like cool effect and then I'm just I'm gonna save it to the 360 category because why not <laughs> and then if you go to the 360 category you find where is that cool effect then it's already saved and you just drag it onto a new clip and there you go so that's a really fun thing that you can do you can like create effects presets and you can also add effects to these layers up here which is really cool so one of the things that I really like to do is I like to go under where is it distortion and use the underwater on some text things so I drag this onto here and then it makes this all wavy and cool and then transitions I don't really use transitions I probably should but the transitions are just right here and it works similar to effects you just kind of drag it wherever you want the transition to be and there you go and then another cool thing that you can do in Final Cut Pro is you can copy effects and paste them to other clips so say I want this clip to be zoomed in I zoom in like that and then just hit done and then I just go up here and click edit and I go to copy and then pretend I want these two clips to also be zoomed in then I just drag over these two clips 
and click on it and then click edit and then I go down to paste effects. You can also paste attributes and you can also remove effects from here too and just click paste effects and then it zoomed in on these two clips too. So this is really nice if you are like editing a TikTok on Final Cut Pro and you want to edit all the clips to be in the correct TikTok format. And now for text, which is text. <laughs> so when you're doing this for the first time, go up to this thing up here. This is really specific. I'm like, go to this thing and then go here, but go here. And then you're going to be under titles and just choose the title that you want to. I just choose under bumper opener. I just use the basic title because that's just easy. And then you just drag it on to the timeline and here it is. You click on it and type and then up in this little area, you can make your adjustments. So you can change the font. I personally personally use this one. Big Cas Caslon. This one. I like this one. You can adjust the size right here. So if you want to make it really big and do all of the other like adjustments that you would do to text. Also, if you click right here on the crop thing again, you can change the location of it. You can rotate it however you want to. And then another fun thing you can do right up here is you can create a text preset as well like we created the effects preset. So if you click this right here and then click save all format and appearance attributes, then you can just name it whatever you want to and then it will appear right here. So the one that I always use is just called text plain and that's just really nice so I don't have to like manually go in and change the font every single time. You can also add any of the effects you want to onto the titles. And now let's do a really fun shortcut that will save you so much time. Basically, you can program a key on your keyboard to just open text automatically. If that doesn't make sense, keep watching. I've set it up so when I click Y, just basic title appears, which is so nice because then you don't have to go scrolling through all of this every single time. So to do this, you're going to be in this area and click on basic title and you're going to hit control click and click on make default title. And then you're gonna go up here to where it says Final Cut Pro and you're gonna click on commands and click on customize. And you basically can drag any of these commands onto a keyboard key. And then once you hit save, then when you click that key from now on, it will create that command. So you'd find connect default title and you just drag it onto the key that you want. And in addition, Final Cut Pro also supports it's like the GIF format and I make all of my GIFs on Procreate on my iPad. I'll link below like a YouTube video that describes how to do that because that's like not really on Final Cut Pro, but Final Cut Pro does support GIFs and iMovie does not support GIFs. And then the very last step I do after like all of my creative edits are done is I do color correcting and color correcting just basically makes it look better. <laughs> so this whole video has been color corrected and this is what it looks like without color correction on. So you can tell that there's a difference and I I'm not a professional at this whatsoever. So basically how to do this, you're gonna have to take a couple of steps, sorry, but that's just how it is. <laughs> I learned this from Hannah Lisa's video and she learned it from another video. So I'll link both of those videos below. But basically there's this guy who teaches you how to do color corrections. And in that video, he will give you a link or whatever to download these two things under adjustment called base correction and look grade. And you might be like, huh? But watch that video, it'll make sense. And that video will also teach you how to download these things onto your computer. I literally do not remember how I did this. I do remember struggling to download those. But basically, once these are downloaded, you drag this thing, the look grade one, onto here. And then the first time you do color correction, you're gonna wanna go to effects and go to color and drag color board onto here. And then you're gonna wanna go up here and click on the triangle one and you're going to be adjusting all of these things and I'll show you what my settings are for color grading. So my settings for this are, I literally screenshotted it because I need to remember. So my settings are master 150, 
you can read this, take a screenshot of this, whatever, and this is just what works for me. I started off by using Hannah Elise's, what she had set, because I really liked how she did it, but then I adjusted it a little bit for my hair color, because her hair's blonde and mine's not blonde, so I just did it a little bit, so you may want to use her settings or you can use my settings. I don't know. I don't care. Here you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I literally don't understand what any of these do, <laughs> and then once they're adjusted, you hit save effects preset like you did earlier, and it'll appear wherever you want it to appear. I just call my color grading preset color grading one. I'm just gonna drag that on here. That's how I color correct. And then you just drag this out however long you want the color correction to be. Color correction on, color correction off, color correction on, color correction off. And see how it like just makes it look better. <laughs> I think it looks better at least. <laughs> and that is it for today's video. I really hope this helped you. I tried my best to cover everything and I'll try to answer your questions down below. I don't really know how helpful I'm gonna be because I assume there's so much other stuff on Final Cut Pro that I don't even know is there, let alone understand it. So but if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below anything that you want to, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye!